Hey everyone, it's 3 9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, but Promise Revisited. In this episode, or in the last episode, we fought the Ten Overlords, uh, who are probably direct subordinates to the President. In this episode, hopefully we'll be actually fighting the President this time. Let's check it out. Evil Office. Here we go, guys. This is it. Whoa! Shivers just ran down my spine as soon as we entered this room. Desco senses a tremendous force. This presence is nothing short of a final boss. Then he must be here somewhere. The demon of all demons who rules the netherworld. Father! <laughs> Your fear is unnecessary. The president is the leader of a rotten netherworld. He's merely the embodiment of rotten demons. <laughs> I appreciate the introduction, Tyrant Valvatorius. That's... He's... The netherworld president, Amizel's daddy! Father. I praise all of you for reaching this place alive, you brave yet foolish rebels. Desco is scared, Big Sis. His presence shows that he's on a totally different level than we are. Yeah, he's like half our level. It's a crazy town. He's just so powerful. It's okay, it's okay. This is just a dream. I mean, tough enough, Desco. You're gonna be the final boss, aren't you? Yes, you're right. Desco shouldn't be scared. Desco is gonna be the final boss. I've been waiting for this, Mr. President. Or should I say, Death King Hugo? It has been a while, Valvatores. Who would have imagined you would be the one leading the rebellion? I was surprised when I received the initial reports. You know my father? Indeed. We fought each other once, a long time ago. My blood still stirs in excitement just from thinking about it. Our violent battle went on for days on end. We never got to settle it, as I recall. So, is Bowsey supposed to be like some super crazy strong dude? Idiot. Have you only just realized that? Well, better late than never. Now, be sure to call him Lord from now on. Roger that. I'll be calling him Lord Bowser. <laughs> that lighthearted attitude even during this serious moment. Desco still has a lot more to learn from Big Sis. True. Such levity in front of the president. It's rather encouraging to see. Valvatores. What do you seek to accomplish by forming a rival party? You don't even have your power anymore. He wants to lobby for more funding for sardine research. I heard you became a pretty instructor in Hades, but... Did your tyrant blood begin to boil in a rage of discontent? Nope. I'm happy with my job as a pretty instructor. I'm rather proud of it. It's quite rewarding. If you hadn't issued that Prinny extermination order, I would still be in Hades, happily training the next crop of Prinnies. Now answer my question, Death King Hugo. You were more passionate about spreading fear amongst the humans than anyone else I knew. What happened to you? Why did you imprison innocent demons? Why did you let the humans get out of control? <coughs> what is happening between you and the humans? Letting the humans get out of control? So that's how you see it? Coming from you, one who I've personally fought fist to fist. I take those words to heart. Is everyone else here in agreement? Have you all come here to take my head for the reason Valvatores stated? D Desco wants to defeat Mr. President to become a final boss. My goal is to collect all the money that has been leaked to the netherworld illegally. I'm just here to complete my mission. Your office 
This is my target. I'm gonna become the president so I can change the law and make people treat printies like VIPs. <laughs> How about you? Are you here for revenge, Inizo? Absolutely not. I just want to prove to you that the spoiled Amiza, who wrote his father's coattails, no longer exists. I'm here to prove that Amiza has been reborn as a great demon who was worthy of being his father's son. Hmm. Werewolf, what about you? I assume you're the man who's behind this conspiracy. My schemes are only made valid with my master's presence. I cannot claim credit for it. My goal is a secret. I have no reason to tell you what it is. I see. <laughs> Look at you. As divided as can be. And to think that the corruptment has been tossed around by a party that is in such discord. That's right. That's right. We're completely inconsistent. Each one of us has something different to say. However, our intentions and goals aren't the bonds that are holding us together. It's nothing as insignificant as those. Connected by something much deeper and stronger. That is, the camaraderie that we've built through our various battles. Where we were born, how we live, not even what we are. None of us have anything in common. All we have is our camaraderie. However, there is no weakness to be found in our bond. My lord. Valvatores. Mr. Valzi. Lord Valzi, I've really got to say, you're standing out way too much in my dream. Demon camaraderie? <laughs> Mr. Weirdo. Valvatores. As a tyrant, you used to refuse any membership within a group. But now, here you are, talking about camaraderie? This is more surprising to me than learning that you were the head of the rebels. Huh. I'm evolving for the better every day. And it's all thanks to sardines and that one promise I made. So you say. I'll be the judge of whether it's evolution or simply degeneration. Pleasure is all mine! While we're at it, why don't we settle that battle we started so many years ago? That is a lot of bodyguards. Anyway. Meet Death King Hugo! Mind Killer. Inflict 50% of damage to SP during an attack. He's got 13,000 HP. Increased stats of dis <coughs> dispatched ally bouncers by 30%. Hmm. Keeper of Abyss. Uh, it's a sea level attack, huh? Alright, let's do this, guys. Let's bring out Desco to start with. I probably shouldn't over be overusing a uh, Delta of Death, but uh, actually, yeah. Ooh, that works great. Yeah. I'll show you sardine power. Can you take all of my attacks? I'm coming. I beg your pardon. Time to bust some balls. Get everybody out. Here I come. <laughs> Sasha, Volcano C2, hang back for a little bit. Brace yourself. Henrik, uh, you stay close to Val. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we've taken out a good half of the battlefield already. Ooh, Gigastar. Uh, Cyrus is probably going down. It's the Eye of Cthulhu!
Catly Rave. Let's take out this monk back here. That works. Alright. The only one left is uh, the president and his bouncers. Desco, where do you do the honors? President is the only one left. Let's take him down. <laughs> Why, you're targeting your son first? <laughs> Talk about tough love. This reminds me of a certain boss in Super Mario. Or maybe the final boss of Oracle of Seasons, I don't know. Anyway, he missed, so... Ha. 69-96. That's... that's great. <clears throat> wasn't he, That wasn't even intentional. We resist everything, so, uh... Sounds like a good time to use Delta of Death. That ought to finish him off. And there we go! That was a pretty easy final boss. history who has ever inflicted a wound on my skin. But it seems you haven't regained all of your original power yet. Neither have you. Everyone keep your guards up. That wasn't his full power. We can expect at least three levels of transformations with additional power multipliers every time. You mean like Desco has? Seriously? Oh, come on. My dream seems to love all kinds of unnecessary excitement. I should be ashamed for thinking that we would be able to settle this so easily. Father's transformations! This will be my first time seeing them! The true power of the president! It's scary, but Desco is ready to witness it! This is a great learning experience! The President is just another obstacle that stands in the way of my Lord's true mission. All is for my Lord. With every fiber of my being, I will get him! <laughs> There's no need to be so tense. That was all the power I have. I have nothing left. Not even the power to transform. What?! Desco is very disappointed. Huh? Then does that mean this is the happy ending? I hope it'll be this easy. Huh? Why are you so negative? Call it being rational. I just know the harshness of reality. How? Why, Father? How is it possible that you have no power left? Death King Hugo! You can't possibly tell me that this is how our battle is going to be settled! Explain this to me. The Yakshas, the Overlords, and now even you have become a whip! I have lost most of my power as well. Consequently, like you, I can no longer transform into my true form. The effects of the fear energy. So you knew. 
Alba Torres has indeed been gifted with a great partner. The fear energy? I feel like I've heard those words before. What was that again? It's the energy that's created when humans are scared of the darkness. Human fear is like water and oxygen for us demons in the netherworld. And then there's the awe energy, which is created when humans worship the heavens. Awe energy gives us celestial servants power and courage. Huh. Talk about eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of fear energy, which gives demons their power, is decreased every year. Its effects are greater on demons with more power. Most of the demons who serve the Corruptor have become worthless. But it's not like the decrease in fear energy just started recently. With the development of scientific technology, the humans began to create less and less fear energy. However, this would have been stopped if we demons fulfilled our basic responsibility of scaring the humans. We tried. The entire netherworld worked around the clock to plant more fear into human minds. However, the humans progressed much faster than we expected. They ousted the demons using their scientific advancements. And it wasn't just science. They developed a much more dreadful power, which incorporated technology with magic. It was a violent power that brought out fear in us demons in return. That's a total lie! I didn't read about any of that in my textbooks. We have electricity and gas, but I've never heard of or seen magic technology before. Human girl. The technology that is made public in the human world is only the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you've experienced falsified information from the authorities firsthand by now. <sighs> Basically, humans have developed the ability to keep their fear energy to themselves. No one can stop them now. Fear energy to themselves? Impossible! Could they? It's simple. If humans begin to only fear themselves, the energy they build up will stay within the human world. Wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error, and daily incidents of murder. What the humans fear now are humans themselves. Horror stories and urban legends, they're all created to make humans fear themselves. Seriously? You mean horror movies were created so us humans can hog all of our fear energy? That's correct. The distribution of fear energy to the netherworld has been completely cut off. Completely? Not only will demons diminish, but the netherworld itself will be totally eroded away! Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, apparently demons have become valuable research materials for humans. So one day, the humans came over to bargain with us. In exchange for their fear energy, they asked to study, research demon bodies. You fool. Agreeing to that will only give the humans even more power to abuse. Well, hey, if it's an energy crisis, they didn't really have a choice. It was either forced oppression or slowly succumbing to a lack of fear energy. We were doomed either way. Huh. So the humans would have gotten what they wanted anyway. Those humans! Cowards! So, Desco was the result of that research. So you were forced to make that deal with the humans. Father, I had no idea. I didn't know anything about that. They've only been allowing a minimal amount of fear energy to trickle into the netherworld. You've seen the effects of that already. Goodwill has vanished from many humans' hearts, and the number of prinnies sent to Hades kept increasing exponentially. To conceal the weakening of the corruptment and prevent possible rebellion, falsifying information became inevitable. 
The reason behind the presence of waste from the human world and those mutated demons. The reason for trying to control the netherworld with the A-Virus. The reason for everything. Indeed. The netherworld has already been brought under the control of a single human. Valva Torres and his party were astonished by the shocking news that was revealed to them by Netherworld President Hugo. This unbelievable truth only led the party down a much darker path. The truth has been revealed! The new enemy awaits. How could anyone have imagined the Netherworld was being controlled by a human? That's right! Our new enemy is the Purine. Sardines, which I had so much faith and respect for, possess mass amounts of Purines. Prunes? Ugh, I hate prunes. No, it's Purines. They are definitely more horrific than prunes. Just go ask your father. Your Purines are broken down into uric acid in your body. They become enemies of patients who have hyperuricemia. Hyperuricemia is basically what causes gout. But don't worry. Purines are also found in many other foods. So basically, what I'm trying to say is... Eat sardines! And refrain from eating too many other foods! <laughs> That's a really easy solution! <laughs> Final episode! Magic Knight Valvatore's Hyper Sardine Syndrome! War clouds are calling for me! The bottom line is, you just want people to eat sardines, no matter what! Yeah. Pretty much. So, the game is not quite over! <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming. Alright, see y'all next time, guys. Bye bye